Hi fellow Boom Creators, my name is Cannon Hammaker and welcome back to Boom Create TV. Today we're going to be doing my very first sketch or picture in a rock and it's a follow on to what we did before which was how to start carving rocks to begin with. Today we're going to do my very first picture, I'm really excited about it, so join me! Okay, so the purpose of today's video is to get in here and start with a rock and just sketch on it. But before I do that, I wanted to get an idea of what it was I was going to put on the rock. So I've got the rock here and I put it next to it to get about the right same shape and size. And then I'm doing a really quick sketch to see what it is I want to do. Now, I had an idea of putting a fossil on here. So today we're making a fossil rock. Um, we'll see how it turns out. I'm really excited about this. Okay, so my sketch is done and I'm ready to put it on the rock. And so I'm just using a pencil to outline things really quickly. It's not marking very well and I could probably find something that would work better, but it's working well enough that I can start to see it. I'm excited to get this on the rock and see how it goes. Okay, so there's the final design, and that was a lot of fun to do. I think I made some great mistakes. I uh, learned a lot while I was doing that. One of the things that we want to do is an after action review. If you take time, every time you're learning something new, to sit down and say, okay, what could I have done better? What's working and what's not working? In this case, I have to say that the first big mistake I made was I tried to make the design on the rock too big for the rock. So I think I would actually keep it a little more contained inside the rock. And that's a design problem, not necessarily a execution problem. So the next thing I think I could have done better is I would have gone with a much larger rock and put the design on there much larger. I think it would have made it easier. So had I gone with something about this size, and put the design in the middle, and I would have had a lot more room to work. Um, and I think I could have made a lot less mistakes, or my mistakes wouldn't have been as apparent. Uh, you can see bits and pieces up on top of the rock. It's gonna be hard to see that, but basically where I can see where I didn't carve it quite right. I, I would say with that, it would be fixed just by going larger and keeping less detail in the initial carving. And I think you're a lot less likely to have those screw ups. The next thing I would say is that I drew on the rock uh, with a light pencil. I didn't really have a good outline to follow when I was doing the actual work. So I'm gonna find a different way to do that. And I think that's gonna be our next video. So if you want an easier way to get images onto the rock so then you can carve them, tune into the next video, which will be coming out in the next few days. 
and that will make life a lot easier for all of us. But really that's it. The first issue was a design issue. The second issue was just a skill issue. And as I start carving more and more, then I'll learn the skills and I'll just get better and better at that part of it. And you will too. Uh, the next issue is just making it easier for me to get the image on there. And that's key to, I think, the success of what our next project will be. One of the keys with any new style of art or any new material is that you just need to dig in and do it and do it and do it. Honestly, you, you just can't fail. You're just going to get better and better and better as time goes on. So keep trying new things, keep doing new things, and you're going to be awesome. Really, it's going to be great. So go grab a rock and grab your tools and get going. So thanks again, fellow Boom Creators, for joining me. I'm so excited that you are here. I'm so excited about these projects. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and ring that little bell so that you will see when new videos come up. Also, if you really want to help me out, share, because sharing helps more people come to the channel, helps more people see what we're doing, and I really want more and more people to create. So thank you guys for joining me, and we'll see you in the next video.